Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we're gonna partake in my favorite hobby. This hobby is fucking destroying Farfa. Let's go. I'm hyped. If you're hyped for a trip to destroy Farfa, you gotta smash the subscribe button, baby. Because when we hit 50,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, and then I will bring back Trip Fitness. You guys wanna see Trip Fitness? Then smash the subscribe button, because at 50k, I promise, on Celine and Electrum that I will bring back Trip Fitness. Also, if you guys want to be extra cool, smash the like button because if we have 1,500 likes for this video, then I'm going to bring budget pendulums uh, next week as soon as possible and it's going to be a real life video. So you guys want to want to check that out for sure. Anyways, it's time, boys. It's time. It's time. It's time. Cue the sick drop. Cue the sick music. It's time to fuck Farfa up. Let's go, baby! Morons versus Farfa! Let's go! <laughs> Before we get into the video, don't forget to check out TripGaming.com where I just updated the website with some Blazing Vortex packs. You get five packs for $15 as well as the best playmats in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go. So make sure to check out TripGaming.com and after you do that, enjoy this absolute ass whooping of my son, Farfa. Let's go. Let's get started, boys. Warrock versus Goats. The Pen God versus Farfa. Who's going to win? As you guys see here, Farfa, what's this, bro? You think that's because you're playing goats? You're allowed to draw a six card? That's cheating. But whatever. He opens two MSTs, essentially. A BLS, a DD Warrior Lady, a Sinister Serpent, Torrential. I opened Busted. Look at this garbage hand this guy opens. I opened two Warrock Mountains, three traps. I'm good to go. He sets two and sets a monster. I go Warrock Mountain. A fact to search. He pops it. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I drew pot up for third. <laughs> so that's all good. Pot of Prosperity, which by the way, is now on TriffGaming.com. And you could purchase this card right now if you just go on www.triffgaming.com. Anyways, let's go. So we end up uh draw looking at six cards. I put them all back and I end up adding War Rock Orpis. So what Warrock Orpus does, for those who don't understand, is Warrock Orpus, when it battles, can can Foolish Burial, a Warrock Monster. And this this seems like it might suck a little bit, like it's just a Foolish. And yeah, it does suck. Yeah, it, it does. But uh, at least I get the big boy in the graveyard. Warrock Bashilios. The point of having this card in the graveyard is that whenever any of my Warrock Monsters get destroyed by battle, I get special summon in back. The point of the Warrocks is not like the typical... 10 negate pendulums. This deck puts up zero negates, War Rock. The idea is to control the field with monsters that always float. Kind of like a shitty BA. Uh, Bashilio summons itself whenever a card gets destroyed by battle, and the level four and unders a spec of float into another level five or higher when they're destroyed by effects. So whether it's destroyed by battle or effects, you can have another big monster come out. So that's the idea behind the deck, but by itself it's ass. Just so you guys saw, Farfa beat, uh, uh, beat this deck with the GOAT deck in one of his past videos. But if you were to special summon, uh, ha ha back up the War Rocks with traps, then it's a little way better. Here ends up drawing Heavy Storm. Uh, I'm like, okay, let's just enter Battle Phase here. I had the opportunity to use War Mountain, but I'm like, this guy's playing GOAT, what's he gonna do? And I should have known he set the Serpent because he just added it back. I was thinking I could kill and get a plus one. But the issue with Sinister Serpent is that if you destroy it, it's you don't get a plus one by destroying a monster you actually just go equal because he just adds it back. So I'm like, man, what? A, I like, I should have known that was a Sinister Serpent. That was my fault. So I should have used War Ground Mountain to attack it, but I'm like, whatever. I didn't know. At this point, I'm like, this has to be the Serpent again. Let's let's just fucking go for it. So I go War Ground Mountain and I search for Tia, which is kind of like the road of this deck, essentially. He goes to Rancho, which is fine, because remember I said when this gets destroyed by effects, it could special summon a level 5 or higher. So I special summon this card that'll just special summon the Fortia back. So it's kind of like it floats a lot. Uh, you go Rota, to uh, use this, search a Fortia, I attack, I use it, both their effects, I should not have done that because now I won't uh, be able to attack for the rest of the turn, I could have done extra more damage, but it's fine, I still get a good amount of plus this turn. So I end up with a big field here of three, I don't need to overset, I just got two, three, 
heavy storms, and then he's gonna proceed to scoop, realizing that Warrock is the second best deck, and he cannot destroy it. So, we're gonna continue here. I open five traps. I'm playing 23 traps in this deck. Something along those lines. The list will be shown at the end of this video. Like, it, this deck is just too good. On Patreon as well, I'm gonna showcase you guys a go second list. So, I, I posted a list on my Patreon today about a go second list for, for Warrock, because the issue with Warrock, as you see, is it doesn't actually put up negates. So, the way I look at it, if you're going to play Warrock, you have two ways to play this deck. Either number one option is trap cards, like 23 trap cards. Or option two is play 23 go second cards, like Regeki, Dark Hole, Lightning Storm, and just destroy your opponent with that. So, on Patreon, I posted a list of my go second list. But I think the trap list is better. But the go second list is also cool. He says that I cannot add Fortia, uh, with Fortia because for some weird reason, the attack with DD Warrior Lady. I'm like, bro, 100% I could add... But also, I don't want Farfoot to have his feelings hurt. I don't want him to get too old in 5 minutes. I prefer the too old to be like in 10 minutes. So he doesn't feel that hurt inside. Farfoot's my friend. I would hate for him to feel bad about losing to the second best deck, Warrock. So, uh, and what I'm trying to say is, Farfa, if you hear this, I challenge you to another duel of Warrock versus your best deck. Because Warrock is the second best deck. So as long as you don't play Pendulums... I'm comfortable with winning. Anyways, I should have add there, but I'm like, whatever. I drop return, it's a dead card. It's ass. I end up going War Mountain, Surge. What a great top deck. That was insane. That was a beautiful top deck. So I'm going to enter Battle Phase, attack for both. I'm going to pass my turn here. I'm going to add another War Mountain for the following turn. I'm like, this is. I'm in such an amazing position right now. I actually just can't lose. So you go Scapegoat for four. He Heavy Storms my back row. I'm like, fuck. This trap. I knew I should have used Trap Trick for like at least a punishment, but I'm like... What, uh, it was better to keep it in case he mst or dust tornadoed which you already use an mst so maybe i should have used trap trick also i don't want him to know what i what i have but anyways it's fine he dust tornadoes my work mountain and then i attack with fortia and i use this effect to add as you guys see here that's the point of this deck fortia control and every battle phase you're gonna add a card and when you back it up with trap cards that don't let your opponent destroy it you're, you're in a really good position the shilios can attack directly so i'm just gonna go ahead and attack directly uh, right now 2700 and then he's just gonna scoop and i'm like that's game we're gonna go into game three actually even though i too old his ass because uh he's like all or nothing i'm like you know what i don't want an all or nothing i told him if you want like uh, let's play three more then i came to realization realization that Farfa's not even winning in 10 straight games so let's just play another one so we're playing best of five this is all or, all or nothing and that's fine all or nothing that's fine he goes delinquent clears my stuff ice person is ass against goat i'm like <laughs> i don't care i'll get rid of it anyways I use this to, so I get both War Rocks out here. Enter Battle Phase, I attack. He hits me with a Morphing Jar. I'm like, ah, I should have set my two cards. I was going to set both anyways. But whatever, it's fine. So I'm going to end up drawing five. He realizes he, I can't pot, by the way. I'm going to pot, not realizing. He scoops anyways because he realizes that he just cannot defeat this. War Rock is just the best deck. So Pickle Jeff Cock, and then uh, he scoops. And... War Rock second best deck is all I can say. Now I'm going to showcase you guys my deck profile of this War Rock deck. Anyways, let's get started on the actual deck profile itself. So, triple Fortia. You're kind of playing a lot more Fortia than just three because you also have War Rock Mountain, Terraforming, and Rota. So, you're playing eight Fortias. And with the pots, you're guaranteed to open it. The point of this deck is that you want to protect your, your War Rock monsters with your trap cards. So, Fortia is the biggest engine of the deck because the idea is normal Fortia, attack... You're going to get an effect from the Fortia. You add a War Rock Mountain. War, War Rock Fortia is add a War Rock card. So, unfortunately, it's not on Summon. It's when you battle. And that's fine. Because then you add War Rock Mountain. And then next turn, you can continue doing cool things. War Rock Gactos is good to have one of at the moment. Just because when you have a Fortia and a, and a Gactos in the field, and they both die by an effect, they both special summon level 5 or higher, summoning both Skylar and Orpus. So, it's good to have. It's also good to have one Skylar. To regenerate the Fortias from your graveyard. And then it's good to have one Orpus to be able to go into Basilios. Orpus is the worst card. A lot of people think Orpus is the best card because it puts Basilios in the graveyard. But that doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, I would rather actually just keep the Fortia on the field. And they're not going to be able to destroy it in conjunction with your traps. And I would just prefer the Fortia over the Orpus. But it is good to have a Basilios in the grave. That's why one Orpus is good. And you want Basilios in the grave because it's 2700 direct. And it's just the biggest monster. Uh, but it, it's good to have one of each of these, but 4T is the best. Triple, four, four Warrock Mountains. I have a version with set rotation as well, but that's with Mystic Mind. 
And I'm playing a Mystic Mind Turbo War Rock deck with uh, a shit ton of Mystic Mind, Pot of Prosperity, Pot of Extravagance. You search Mystic Mind every turn, and it's a go second list with 20 spell cards that ensure Mystic Mind resolves. This format, if you're not facing against Virtual uh, against uh, Virtual World or, or, or Eldritch, I know that's a pretty big part there, uh, but Mystic Mind's an auto win. So as long as you can out, find a way to out the traps, you just auto win. And the deck plays a lot of Cosmic Cyclones, a lot of stuff like that. But they're never even going to have anything banished. Anyways, you have Triple Extrav, tri Rota also is the fourth. You have Triple Pot of Prosperity. It's okay to mix all six of these. This is a very slow deck. Uh, you're not going to be able to OT. Even though it's a Battle Phase deck, it cannot OTK. So the pots are very good. You can just wait a few turns and get full value from them. Triple Solemn, Triple Strike. So the thing about Solemn, you just want to... Even though it seems dead going second, it's actually not. The way this deck is, is you need to make sure some of your plays resolve. You just need it. Triple Solemn, Triple Strike. Triple Crackdown, Triple Tarantula, Triple Punishment, Triple Trap Tree, Double Ice Prison, One Macro, One Skill Drain. Uh, 22 traps. It seems like it's a lot, but it's actually not. Going second against combo, you have to open four of these to have a chance. So you need to play as much as possible. Uh, and this deck is normal so pass. Maybe uh, with, if you open War Rock Mountain, would you have five of the, four of them? You could go more than just uh, normal pass, but still. Order Triple Arm Test, but Triple Broken Line for uh, Herald. Double Storm Duster, double evenly triple lightning storm, one feather duster. These eight for back row are because when you face a back row deck, you don't want all these traps uses against it, so you just substitute them all out, and you end up having like 11 cards that destroy at least two or more cards. It's amazing. Uh, then this is the extra deck. And that's it for the deck, boys. I think this deck is actually, if I can give an honest tier, it is not the second best deck. It's probably the second worst deck in the world to ice barriers. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's still better than uh, Farfa's shitty goat deck. So that's that, that's all I, I want. Uh, but if you guys do want to build War Rocks because you guys open cases or open boxes and have all the War Rock cards in that scenario, I would advise that uh, you guys, uh, if you guys want to play for fun, that's fine. I would advise play this list. If you're going to play War Rock, it's safe to assume that uh, you want to play it budget. So the, I also have a budget version for this deck. All these traps are budget except for Ice Prison. You could take out all these traps for any trap card you want. You could remove Ice Prisons for fucking Fiendish Chain if you really want to. I mean, like, just throw trap cards in there is what I'm saying. You could throw in Ash Blossoms, whatever. But I firmly believe that either you're going to play 20 traps cards or 20 hand traps. No in between. I think you play a shit ton of one. You can't mix both and play, like, 10 hand traps, 10 traps. That won't do anything. That's, that's ridiculous. Like, you're going to have one hand trap. If you play 10 hand traps, you open one against Drytron, and then you're going to have 10 traps. So what are they going to do against the full Drytron board? You have to commit to one of them. Uh, so you can substitute the pots for dualities. Uh, you don't really need to special summon in this deck. You can substitute it for a card of demise. Uh, and then I'll probably, yeah, that's fine as well. And desires, I guess you could. But if you play desires, maybe play one or two more. Maybe one more Skylar or something. Anyways, that's a deck. Hope you guys enjoy it. It is really budget, actually, if you guys want to build it. But it also sucks. I'm warning you guys ahead of time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget your get your beautiful Truth Gaming playments on TruthGaming.com. Also, boys, don't forget that uh, if you subscribe right now, then you're cool. So if you want to be cool, smash the subscribe button. And if you guys want to be extra cool, smash the like button. And if you guys want to have cool Blazing Vortex packs, it's only five to fifteen dollars on the website. We'll be updated. Go check it out, boys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.